now that I'm almost over this bug, let the gifting resume. Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. Last week I shared with you how we rearranged the living room area and I shared with you how and where I put up this tree that I picked up from the at home store a couple of years ago. This tree is seven and a half, the seven foot. It has about a thousand lights on it and it is flocked. This is one of my favorite trees as I stated in my previous video. So I placed this tree here because I wanted to make sure I had enough room for gifts and everything and it wouldn't impede any of the walking space. So this is the way that I rearranged the furniture. I love rearranging the furniture because it definitely gives my space a new look. I get tired and bored of things very easily. So by me rearranging the furniture, interchanging different pillows, um, changing out the floral picks and making arrangement really does keep my, um, my focus you know, and I, I don't get as tired of the spaces. So, you know, we've cleaned the floors. And so what I want to do now is I want to go through here and I am going to fluff out my tree a little bit more and then we will begin the decorating. So, of course, we're going to start with the ribbon and this ribbon was purchased at um, Hobby Lobby and I loved it. I liked that it was cream. I also like on the edges there was like little feathers on the edges and so on my previous trees that I've shared with you this year I've shared with you different ways that I like to put in my ribbon. I've showed you like the little tuck. We've done some hoops. We've done um, um, pieces of ribbon to create a look. So this one here is going to be a combination of the tuck. But what I want to do is I'm going to place the ribbon on our diagonal. So as you guys see and with anyone when we are creating or creating a space, designing a space or even styling a tree, we may put the ribbon in or several different times, several different ways just to make sure that we can accomplish the look that we are trying to convey, um, not only to you, but you know how you would like for your your end presentation to be to anyone who should enter. And so I did know that I wanted this to be in a diagonal. So all the ribbon that I'm going to place will be this beautiful cream ribbon and it's gonna be in a diagonal. My vision for this tree this year is I want it to be very natural. And you will see that all of the picks and everything that I'm going to use to style this tree will have some type of natural element in it. So right now, like I stated, this ribbon here that we're using, the edges has feathers. Feathers come, of course, from birds. And so that is a natural element on the tree. You will also see that I'm, I don't overpack my tree, but because I love for the tree to actually be seen in my designs and my style. So you will notice that with me also. And so I want to place the ribbon in a diagonal because I want to bring visual interest to the space with the ribbon all going in one direction and it's going around the tree. So now I'm going to add these beautiful gold pine cone picks and then it has like 
some pine on it that has frosting or let's say like icicles on it. So I'm going to bend the pick and I am going to align it in between the two diagonal ribbons. Now, not only does this bring a little bit of glitz and glam and sparkle to our tree, it also brings another natural element. Although it is glitter, but this um, pine cone um, duo is absolutely gorgeous. I picked them up a couple of years ago and I want to say I bought them from Joann's. Joann's, please don't sleep on Joann's. They always have amazing, amazing picks. And so I have two of them. So once again, I'm going to bend this one and I'm going to bring this one on the other side of the ribbon and it's going to be diagonal as well and it's going to be as if it is going around the tree. So now I'm going to begin adding my um, bubble ornaments. I just like sticking these into where places where there are gaps inside the tree. That way, you know, it, it'll bring a lot of depth inside um, to the tree. So you don't only see the ornaments that are on the outside, it draws your eyes into the tree also. So these ornaments, they are cream with a light gold hue on them. It's a little bit ombre and I think it's going to look beautiful on our tree. Now these ornaments that I'm about to put on now, they're a combination of ornaments I picked up last year as well as this year and those are those beautiful. They're round. They're a little bit of a brown um, like chocolate color and they have feathers on them. I picked up a couple last year but this year I knew that I wanted them and I was crossing my fingers hoping that Hobby Lobby would carry them and they did. So there are two types. One is like an egg shaped um, ornament and the other is like um, a teardrop shape. They are absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. They were a little pricey, so every time I went to the store, I would pick up like two or three of them. And then as the uh, months went on and the discounts got deeper, I picked up the remaining. So you can see now I have added the topper and this is a culmination of picks that were picked up from the at home store that had pine cones in it. It has a little bit of brown, a little bit like of a copper tone to them. I've added pine cones to this tree. I told you this tree is very natural and I think it goes very well with my theme this year of comfy, cozy Christmas. So I'm adding some of these shiny picks here in the copper, bright copper color, give you a close up of them. And they are a great contrast to the darker copper colored picks with the um, pine cones on them. And you see I've added some more ornaments, some browns, some beiges, um, a lot of like champagne colors. I think that this tree is another one, girl. She knocked this one out of the ballpark also. Now, I did not show you the gold ribbon application here, but it simply mimicked the same swags and the loops as the other ribbon, but is more in the middle of the tree and it is on the side of the tree. I love every element that I added to this space to create this natural, glamorous um, Christmas tree in the living room area. So while we're at it, over here on the table that I had in the middle of the two twins, I added some simple decor pieces. These books that I already had, this um, three wick candle here and a bell that is a dupe from um, Pottery Barn. This was purchased from 
I'm TJ Maxx. The two glass mirrored mercury glass um, trees were purchased from Ross. These picks were some, mixed with some that I already had, as well as some picks that are from Hobby Lobby. The pillows, the cream pillows with the gold are ones that I already had. And these pillows, the 12 by 20 pillows are from Amazon. I placed some gifts down at the bottom as well as my deer that was from Big Lot. And I'm going to give you a quick overview of this space one more time. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited about this entire room, guys. It is all coming together. It's taking me a little longer because your girl caught something and she's slowly getting over it but i am slowly getting back to myself i want to thank all of you guys for stopping by my channel today if you like what you've seen i would love if you would subscribe so go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads also come on over and check me out on my instagram you can find me over there at wani's house Hit the follow, the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. So guys, I'm about to go. But before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop, stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.